it's your girl Ashley here and I'm here to do don't mind the mess in the background this is like the best lighting I could have right now um, I'm here to do my Poshmark video of the bags I'm putting on Poshmark and then my bag collection that I have um, I've been requested to do this video for a while now and I did not know how much bags I had till I put them all on my bed and me and hubby were like wow you have a lot of bags and I was actually tempted to pick up another one uh, this week and then realize, wow, I have a lot. So I guess it's good to kind of get your bags out there and kind of get them out there and cleanse, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you the bags that are going on Poshmark. Again, they're going to go on fairly cheap. If you like any here, just let me know and we can discuss prices and talk and stuff. Again, they're going on very, very cheap. I just kind of, oh, I got my Fitbit. Um, they're going on very, very cheap. I just want to kind of get them out of my house because... As you see, I have clutter everywhere, and I need to just get rid of almost everything. So, most bags are going to be like 20 bucks. Um, I have a Michael Kors, might be a little bit more, but most of the stuff is going to be like 20 bucks. Um, so, um, let's get into it. I have a Vera Bradley. Nice crossbody. I don't know the patterns of all these. Um, I wasn't a Vera Bradley for a while. I got this nice crossbody bag. I really like this if you're going to like the park or the beach. There's a pocket here, pocket in the back. Some of these I'll show, some of these I won't because inside is kind of a mess, but and I keep my bags in really good condition. It looks like inside. But yeah, got that one. Oh, I'm kind of put these on, I'm not getting confused. Um, I got this one. I purchased this one off of eBay, and this is one I've used recently before I got all my other bags. But this was a Vera Bradley Villager. And I think Canterbury Blue, I believe. And I like that it has this pocket and a zip pocket. And it's just really cute. And it has the zip top, which most of my bags do because I like to have that, you know, secure closure. And then inside, looks like that. Again, I have stuff in there. And it has, I believe, six pockets. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six pockets. Six pockets. Nice lining. I love Vera Bradley because it's just... It's lightweight, it's easy, um, goes over your shoulder nice, nice lightweight bag, one of my faves, what is that, multi go down. Um, my other Vera Bradley bag I have is the Vera Tote, I think this is called, because there's two, it's confused because there's, there's like two different kinds, um, this is, I think, the Vera Tote. This smaller version, and I have this in the, the fuchsia color, the pink. Um, I really do like this one. It has a toggle closure on the top. Um, the only thing that's wrong with this one, I believe, is it just has a little bit of paint from when I painted uh, my apartment. But other than that, it's a really nice bag. No really wear and tear. Like I said, I keep my bags in really good, pristine condition. So there's that one. And then there's this, the Vera, I think this is the Vera Tote, it's the bigger size, in a uh, flower shower. And it has the big pocket in the front that has the uh, key, it has the zip, it has the top closure, um, it has the big six pockets. I have tons of stuff in this because it's like a big, big bag. I just put it through my head. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna have wallets on it too because I have a lot of wallets and stuff to put on little like pouches and stuff. But yeah, this bag I use all the time. I loved it. Got many compliments on it. I really do like this kind of style. Is that? I think that's it for Vera bags. Okay, guys, I'm back. I had to put my hair up because it's really hot in the house right now. Um, and then another name brand I have is this Dooney and Burke. I don't know the name of it, uh, but it has, it's a very nylon color, uh, not, no, no, just nylon, uh, material. Oh, my necklace is caught. It says a little Dooney and Burke. Little duck right there. Um, it's really great for the summertime. It's very bright, very cute. Uh, the only thing is when I bought this, um, it did have a mark, where is it? A mark right here and I wish I knew how to get that mark out can you guys see the mark oh, let me move you guys in close because I want to make sure you guys can see these qu the quality like just a mark right there and right there and I don't know how to get get it out um it's not a big thing but for me for a purse purse perfectionist it kind of bothers me but 
and it has a very bright, very, very bright pink lining. Um, I really do like this bag. I carry it a lot uh, in the summertime just because it's nice and bright. It goes over your shoulder. It's easy, easy, breezy, beautiful color girl, easy uh, bag. And I just, I try to, I want to get that out. So if anyone to get that out, let me know. But yeah, this is one of my faves for the summer. I'm trying to do my name brand bags first. Um, then you've all seen my Lily Bloom. This is the Maggie Satchel. I still have my stuff on it, but the Maggie Satchel in Playful Gardens. It has the three zips, as you guys know. A very great bag. I love this one. I don't know if I'm going to list it. Like I said, this is just a purse collection. So some of these, if you message me, I'm like, hey, do you, are you selling this? Or if you don't see it on Poshmark, that's why. Some of these will be listed, some of these won't. But just message me. That's that one. My animals are all like all over the place. Like, what are you doing? Uh, this is, I don't know if this is a lounge fly one. I have to look. I think this might be a lounge fly. Um, I got this when I got my job at Target a couple years ago. And it is, because my tattoos are Hello Kitty. I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. The Street Fighter Chun Li bag. Love this bag. Just for an over the shoulder, you know, tote style beach bag, maybe. It's been great condition. I love this bag. I might have to take this bag out more because I think it has not got enough love. But it's a big Chung Lee on it. And then it has all the Street Fighter guys in the back. It's really awesome. Great, great bag. Love it. And then it's just black on the inside. But yeah, one of my faves. Okay, then we got two of the same bag. Um my fiance bought me uh the canvas bag of holding from think geek i believe this how some of you guys found my video so i got the canvas one and then we found the deluxe handbag of holding which is one that i love the most um and that's this one so we have the black one and we have the canvas one I believe the only one that I'm putting up for sale on my Poshmark will be the canvas one because I'm in love with the black one and that's the one that I carry around the most with me just because it's my style. It goes with a lot of stuff and the canvas one is just not my style and um, it's just, it's the canvas one's not me. So I figured I might as well give it to a better home. But you've all seen this video, well, you've seen this, you've seen my what's in my purse. It's got all this compartments in it for the laptop and it's just a really nice bag. It's got the shoulder. It's got the crossbody, the messenger strap. Like, it's a really good, good bag. So there's that one. Then we have, oh, that's not my name. I mean, um, a bag that I bought. I do not think I'm going to put this on Poshmark. I might, I might not. Um, when I bought this bag, it was $80. They no longer make this brand anymore, which is so sad because these bags were amazing. And that is a Maggie bags. They are made out of 100% recycled seat belts. They're amazing. This is in chocolate brown. I love this bag. I've had this bag for years. Years. And you, there's nothing could tell you that I've had it for years. Like, it's an amazing quality bag. And I bought it because... Back in the day when I'd have bags, my straps would always break. And I don't know if you guys have that issue, but for me, um, my straps and my bags would break. So every time I look for a bag, I always like test up the handles, test up the straps, make sure they're not going to break or they're starting to tear apart because that's the issue that I have with most bags. So when I came across this company, I was in love. And I could only find this color online. Like I went to the store. They're online, but they're not online anymore, which makes me sad because they had pink ones and ugh. So I got this one, which is a chocolate brown, and it says Maggie Bags, and I'm just so sad that they're no longer in business because they had such amazing bags. It's oh, that's such a shame. But it has the purple lining in there, and it has a pen pocket, and it's just it was such an amazing company. And I'm just so sad that they're out of business because their bags were like beautiful, and I would pay eighty dollars again because just for the quality, and it's lasted me years, and you would never even know that I've had it for years. It says comfortable. The only thing is it's a little bit heavy because it's made out of recycled seatbelts, but it's an amazing bag. So we have that. And then the other last name brand bag I have is my Kipling Felix in tile blue. You were going to see what's in my purse video in this. I'm definitely not putting this on Poshmark, just so you know. I'm in love with this bag. I love it. I'm so glad that 
I went back and bought this bag and gave this bag a chance because I saw it, I walked by it, I wasn't going to buy it, I put it on my shoulder, I was like, I don't think I'm going to like it. I did buy it, I brought it home, didn't even give it one day, brought it home, looked at it, I'm like, I'm not going to like it, and then brought it back to the store. And I was like, you know what, maybe I'll go to Burlington Coat Factory because I had credit, see if I find anything. I went there, all they had was this one and a blue one, and I'm like, you know what, I'll, I'll try Kipling, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Because I wanted just a plain one to put all my pins on, just to kind of make my bag be me, like my style. And I got it, and I'm like, you know what, I love it. I put all my stuff in, I took it out the other day, like twice, I love it. This bag actually fits, this little tiny bag fits the Goblet of Fire book. If you know how big that is, like, it's crazy, it fits that. It goes over my shoulders so comfortably, like, I will do a What's in My Cars video raving about this bag, because you'll definitely see that soon. But yeah, I love this bag. Like, this is definitely not going for sale, but love this bag. Definitely going to get more Kipling, I'll tell you that much. So there's that. Okay, I'm probably going to put this in two parts because I think there's all of my name brand bags. Oh, and the last one I have is a Michael Kors uh, white one. Uh, I don't know the name of this. Um, honestly, oh, hold on, I can't open it. It's got pocket here, and then it has... There we go. Pocket here. It says Michael Kors inside. I've never used this. Um, I just I'm not a fan of white. Michael Kors inside. I found this in my brother's closet one day, and I'm like, "How'd you get a Michael Kors bag?" He's like, "I don't know." Because it goes in my closet. So I don't know if it was from when I moved here that people left it in their in their closet or something, but it says Michael Kors there. So it has a strap. So yeah, I don't know, but we have a Michael Kors bag here. And I, I believe it's real. Like, it has all the tags on it. It has the branding on it and stuff and everything. But I won't wear it because, again, it's white and it's too small. But, yeah, we have that. So I believe it's all the name brands that we have. So next you're going to see is no name brands. But I'm probably going to put that in part two because this video is already 12 minutes long. And I can't remember how long I can post to YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with part two. Hey guys, Jerry Ashley here, and I'm here with part two of my purse collection and Poshmark. Uh, what I'm putting on my Poshmark and my friend, my purse collection. Okay, if you saw part one, that was all the name brands. This is part two of like no name brands, like Walmart, places I picked up in different places, purses I picked up in different places. So, Walmart, I got two bags. This first one is like a Rebecca Minkoff type bag. Uh, it can be a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. A really nice bag just if you're going somewhere quick. Um, I use this if you have to like take the bus and you just need to go somewhere really quick or like court days or just something like that, you know. Something where you don't need a really big bag but you just need to have some stuff with you. It has a little clasp and a little zipper. And this bag will be on very, very cheap because I got it very, very cheap. But yeah, I really do like it. It's like a gunmetal gray, really cute. Really good material too, very soft chain detailing yeah that's from walmart that's that one and my other one from walmart is just this backpack you'll see a lot of backpacks because for like a minute i was in like a whole backpack phase and i still am because again i take the bus so for me a backpack is just really good to hold like my books um all my essential stuff and just take if I buy some things, it's just it goes right in the backpack. So it looks a lot more easier than a bag, than like a purse. But we have this one. I loved like the lace detailing of it. Really cool. I love the maroon the maroon color. Uh, it has two pockets in the front, pockets on the side, which are awesome for water bottles, and it has a white strap. And then it just unbuckles. It has the drawstring. I really don't like bags that have drawstrings, but and then it just has the nice lining inside. But yeah, for me, I just I don't know. I just don't like bags that have drawstrings. But there's that one. I think that's all for Walmart. Um, another bag that goes on to that kind of motif is I got this one. I think this is GameStop. First ever bag that my hubby bought me um, for our anniversary. It has Harley Quinns on it. And this is the first backpack that I, I ever, like, I started getting into backpacks was because of this one. 
Very, very cute. It has the snap closures. And again, the drawstring. And it just opens up nice and big. Black hole inside, obviously. And then it has the front pockets. Yeah, we have this one. And they'll probably do the backpacks because there's a couple of them. Uh, we have this one, which I got at a store around here, which you'll see, you've heard me talk about the bag spot. It's called my country bag. Um, I really do like this one. It's very lightweight if I'm just going around, just getting a couple things. It has brown lining inside. Again, drawstring. I don't know why bag, ba backpacks have to have the drawstring, though. But yeah, red, pink, really cute. If you're in like, so that kind of vibe, really cute for you, I think. Very cute. I like it a lot. That one. Oh, I just shook the camera. Sorry, guys. Uh, and then we have a, we have a mini backpack, because I was in that phase for a while. And this is just a zipper mini backpack. And it holds a lot for being a mini backpack. And I love the colors. Nice long straps, and the straps, you can see, are really cute. And you have a zip pocket for your essentials. I always put my bus pass there. And gold plating in the front. Very cute. I just put a squirrel sticker. We can always take that off. Very cute. I really do like this map pack. Very, very cute. Um, then we have this bag, which I believe is a Tyler, yeah, a Tyler Rodan. I got this backpack at Ross, uh, when I was in Florida, and I used the heck out of it when I was in Florida, and I've used it since. It's a really awesome bag. It has a huge zip. Huge, huge zip. Oh, I have, I have wallets in here. <laughs> yeah, some of you'll see it. I'll probably have a video up, or I'll do a separate video, or you'll just see it on Poshmark. A lot of wallets will be on there, too. Because I have a lot of wallets. But yeah. Definitely nice big bag. Has two side pockets. Nice big front compartment. Really good bag. Um, my friend Shannon, she had this bag. Uh, we went to the Disney parks. And I was like, where did you get that? She said, Ross. And then we went over to Ross. And they had one. It was 16 bucks, And I was like, what? I couldn't believe it. So I picked it up. And I've used it a lot since I've come back from Florida like two years ago. And it's one of like my go-to bags. Because I like it a lot that and then my other uh, bag is the one that you've seen from the bag spot my little mini one so cute has a little zip at the top has all my crap inside of it but <laughs> yeah this one's really cute I don't know if I'm gonna sell it because again I really like this one a lot but yeah I really do like this one little mini bag that one and then the last backpack is this ginormous one. I forget the brand name. I'll have to look inside. I got it at Marshall's. Um, I put a lot of pins on it, but again, you can take the pins off. Doesn't damage the bag at all. It's a huge bag. I really just like the shape of it and the size because, again, I carry my bags and everything else. My bags, my books and stuff. Two side pockets for your water bottles or whatever. Big, big, big front compartment, and what I liked about it is the lining is so beautiful and yellow and bright. That's the lining. You can see it. So pretty. Um, and inside is there is well, this trash, but the inside um has a pocket here where you can put like your book or your laptop or your tablet. Um, it has a zipper pocket. It's from the brand MMS. I forget where I think I retailed this bag and I looked it up and it was like um I think it was expensive, like sixty bucks I think. And I paid like thirteen I think. But it has like really beautiful, pretty lining if you see that. Like I love the lining in this bag. And it's just it's a really nice, nice, good quality bag. I really do like it. I forgot I had pins. I'm gonna put my my mini mouse pin on there. I forgot I had that. But yeah. I really do like this bag a lot. That one. Okay, we're coming down to the wire, guys. Um, and you guys all saw me haul this one, which is the. Oh, I was looking for this. My little thing. Um, you guys all saw me with this little guy. This is the fox bag. What does the fox say? <laughs> And I wear this normally when I go out on the first because it's just it was so easy to just put over my shoulder, grab my money, go shopping, and 
really really cute i love it i wanted to get one for my subscribers if they liked it just to give it as a giveaway because i thought it was so cute but yeah that one and wait two more bags this is the brand uh travel what's it called travel on uh this is good for if anybody who travels uh a lot or even if you don't travel this is our RFID protected. Um, the bag is a slash proof in the front. So if someone tries to cut your bag, they will not be able to cut it. Uh, this comes with a wallet that is F FID um, protected. So your cards cannot be taken. Uh, like if you're out somewhere and someone's trying to steal them uh, with like that machine, they can't take it. It has a front pocket here. This bag is an awesome bag. Uh, it has a pocket here. Oh, I had that wallet too. I forgot about that wallet. It has a front pocket here. Uh, and then it has this long zip pocket here. And nice red interior. You can put the iPad in here. It has a light so you can see inside your bag. This is a great, great bag for traveling or moms. Um, a huge, huge bag. You can put the iPad in here. And then what's really good about this bag is it has a locking mechanism so if you're out and about and you don't feel comfortable where you are you can take this little lobster claw and you clip it here and you lock so nobody can open your bag at all it's completely locked and then this is a carabiner and it undoes and you can clip it to your carriage and then you go like this and you it's literally locked to your carriage if you turn away and someone tries to grab your bag they can't because it's locked to the carriage um and that's the reason why i got it because it's very 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 safe um if i was going to boston or if we are still going to boston this is probably one of the bags i would take just because it is so so safe um and again the straps are slash proof the front is slash proof um i did buy this in two colors i gave one to my friend uh it was in purple i took the tan because i think it was more of like an everyday color it has a back pocket it carries so much stuff it has sorry guys my video stopped but yeah this can hold like a huge a bunch of stuff like a huge gusset um yeah definitely if you're traveling or in a good not bad area this is a great bag to have Whew, okay two more bags and then we're done this is another bag that we got from the bag spot you've seen my if you've watched my video you've seen what's in my purse video of this it is like a michael kors like knockoff type bag um there's no it's not like a replica or anything but it's just a nice like satchel bag or you can carry it over the shoulder i really do like this bag a lot my mom actually bought the same bag so we have the same bag but it's like blue green and silver i really do like it a lot it's nice that one and then the last one i have is a zoom zoom bag that i got from the disney store online because i really did like zoom zooms i, I still love zoom zooms but this bag is just for me it just it doesn't have a lot of structure so it, folds, it falls over a lot but it has all the disney characters in it it has two pockets here and a pocket over here and you open it up it's magnetic huge 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 inside it's good if you're carrying a lot of stuff because the bag well, then the bag will stand up but other than that it just kind of falls over and I'm not into that, you know, type of bag. I like my bag to have structure, so that's why I haven't really used it. But, yeah, definitely a good bag. Whew, I believe that is all the bags. My room is a mess now with all these bags on the floor. Let me know if you guys like any. This video was so, so long. I might have to put it in, like, three parts because just how, how long the videos were. But, yeah, if you, like, if you like any, let me know. Now I need to go take pictures of all these bags. Oh, okay guys, I'll talk to you guys later.